That's against law. Yeah. yeah. Uh, go to legal, right? What were we? Doing? Uh, what we were doing is like uh, we were trying to create legal Every entities. Year. So yeah, we legal. were yes. So we were trying to create the legal address and then the legal entity. So please check if we have already created the legal address. So just simply have it as legal. Uh, it is like uh, um, it will be best if we address. yes. So it will be best if we uh, do everything through the implementation project uh, uh, page, right? Um, mm -hmm. That we have created. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that will be a practice for us. Like we can say that uh, yeah, uh, the first one, the first option. Manage implementation project. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And select our uh, like it's it's going to be zero zero one, right? Zero zero one chase. Zero zero one chase. Yeah. So um, yesterday we just saw like how to manually create um, all the legal entity structures, not the legal entity, actually enterprise structures. Uh, so um, before that, like in the sense uh, in the beginning, like in the for day two or day three, we saw how to create business uh, unit, division, department, everything else mm -hmm. using the established enterprise structure uh, like wizard. Mm -hmm. And then we started uh, how to create uh, all these elements manually. So uh, we have created the division. We saw how to maintain uh, enterprise uh, uh, like uh, enterprise details. Like when I say enterprise, it's the company details, direct company details. So company alone, we will be able to create using uh, ma maintain. I mean, establish enterprise structure uh, screen. Yeah. Um, and then we also created ledger. Um, ledger was created using manage primary ledger uh, with task, and then we created um, legislative data group. Yeah. And uh, and also we have, I believe we have also created the legal address. One legal address, yeah. I believe we have legal created. Address, so yeah. Yeah. And then now we shall create. Chase legal. The legal I think entity. everything is chase legal chase. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So uh, we can now create legal entity. Legal entity. Yeah. So here plus sign. Yeah, or this this is um no no uh we have to search for the task. No, don't use that uh, back button. Okay. This will actually uh, take you to the home page, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's the browser's back button, right? We have to use the application's back button. So mm -hmm. if, if we are into any uh, function uh, or yeah, uh, we have to use the application's uh, back button and other features. Which is the application back button? Um, I'll I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, please, sir. Uh, now, please search for our uh, uh, implementation process project. It's zero zero one. No, no, zero zero one. Yeah. 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 Now open it. Yeah. Uh, now in the task, yes. Go to task. Yeah. Now search for the required tasks. So we have to search for legal. Yeah. Okay. Assign legal entities. Uh, manage legal entities. Uh, manage legal entity here. Yeah. Okay. Now go to task. Yes. Manage go legal entities. Task. Yes. Uh, when we go to task, we have to select the yeah, scope. Yeah, anyway, we are getting it. So no problem. Uh, okay. Legal entity. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have to create, create yeah. one, right? We haven't created, I believe. Uh, chase or research. So, Let me search and see. Or? Yes, 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 yes. S search and add. Yeah. yeah search no, no. Select the second option because we are going to manage legal entity. Okay, search and yeah. add. Search okay. and add. Yeah. Let's 
apply and go to task apply and go to task okay um now search for chase uh, yeah. where is search button or you have to search here no no we have the search button on the top see uh, on the right side i mean left side on the left side yes okay here yeah just uh, uh, provide us chase here search uh no we do not have we don't have right okay uh, okay cancel yeah uh then create an let's let's create, create one new. let's create one yeah. yeah yeah whenever we are creating something please make a note of it so that uh, yeah. we will know that we have created a legal entity and so on yeah go and uh, create a legal entity yeah apply go to task entity apply go to task yeah now click Add. on plus button yes yeah. create yeah name yes please jays legal yeah yeah uh legal entity right l e let's have it as chase l e 1 yeah uh, this is the first legal entity so let's have it uh, for new yorker right uh, yeah. instead of one new yorker so n y let's have it okay. as n y n y yeah and then identifier a legal entity identifier uh, let's have the same name only l e n y and uh, those are not uh, mandatory so please leave it free then uh, yeah in, in the right side you will notice payroll statutory unit statutory legal unit, employer legal yeah. yes so we can tick both of uh, both the uh, values so I, and i believe you remember what is uh, payroll statutory unit and legal employer right if if we are setting this legal entity as legal employer then only this legal entity has the uh, like authority to Not, hire yeah. an employee the yeah. same way only, uh, if if it is going to be the payroll uh, statutory unit then this uh, legal entity can maintain the payroll of the employees who are assigned to this uh, company yeah okay legal entity company yeah oh, and so, it can be both also yes yes it can be both also it can be both okay. so we can or, create or, multiple or else we can yeah. have only one like uh, for practice purpose we are uh, let's have like uh, as i previously mentioned let's do it uh, as simple as possible first and then we shall make it more complex yeah okay okay um yeah yeah please please go ahead do yeah this questions? is ny they are, this is the legal entity which has the legal employer and um, if we do not want to keep the payroll here then we can move it to some other uh, legal yes. thing like if it is yes, in california yes. they can manage the payroll that's yes. uh, that means right? yeah why don't we do that why don't we create it let's create that way only then first of all we have to create the california uh, legal entity no that's yeah? okay we'll do that next okay let's go simply yeah No, no, no worries, no worries. Uh, what we can do first, create uh, California C A. Let's have it as C A. Change the name. Yeah, yeah. Please name. Let's change the name because we haven't saved it yet, right? So it's it's okay. Identifier also C A. C A. Yeah, and uncheck uh, maybe legal employer. Uncheck legal employer. Okay. Yeah. And uh, below, uh, please update uh, the legal address. some california address yeah yeah oh, okay california pin code 593657 okay let's see if we have no no the, uh, what we have to do Drop over down. there like uh, no uh, just type chase because we have created one address right yeah ah uh, it should be That's there not sure. uh please search for it did we did we actually uh, yeah. complete uh, 
Central New York we had created. That's there. <clears throat> so. Is it, I mean, did we did we create uh, Central New York? I maybe I think we created with for uh, New York only. Uh, okay. So let's do no, it. no, let it. No, no, let's have it as CA only. I will quickly create the legal address. OK, for okay. Uh, CA. Uh, give me a minute. I think we don't my, my session has expired. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, while I'm doing this, hope you remember uh, you asked about uh, the number, right? Uh, which was against SAS and PASS, the cloud. Yeah. So it yeah. is actually the percentage of employees or clients using the uh, technology. So SaaS technology uh, is the public. Yeah, it's it's used by uh, all the public. Uh, uh, like it is a use a public domain, uh, which means most of the people, 90 percentage of the people will be using SaaS and uh, PaaS is a private domain, which will be used only by 10 percent. So that's what mm -hmm. uh, the numbers are. So 90 percent and 10 percent. Yeah. And let me click links. Yes, guys, password. Legal entity J S L E C A. We did it payroll. Legal address, right? Uh, I'll quickly check. Set up my intervents. Legal address. Manage legal addresses. Legal address. Chase LE. I believe that's uh, no, oh, that's okay. legal entity. Chase LE is legal entity, right? That is what yeah. we have created now, right? Uh, I believe Chase LE is a legal entity that we have created. Uh, yeah. And address line, um, yeah, this is for United United States, right? Um, what I'll do? United States. Um, Chase L E uh, legal address like L A L A for C A. So Chase L A C A and uh, can you help me with uh, one of the pin postcode in U S? Uh, California for U S. Yeah, California. Any? California. Okay, California. Is fine. Yeah. Nine, Nine three. three. Yeah. Six five seven. Not sure if it's been loaded. I don't have. So what I'm doing is I'm simply uh, providing it as CACA. Oh, uh, my bad. Or you can take. You want one more or? No, no, no. I uh, got it. Right. Uh, I was actually trying to search for uh, one instead of creating. Uh, let's using that. Okay, Chase, this got it. Nine three six five uh, seven. Yeah. Nine three six five seven. Central Ville. I'm uh, sharing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I created a location. And then uh, I'll create one for uh, Lee. Um, we were able able to create uh, for New York also, right? So let's have New York. Uh, I mean, I will create for New York also. Uh, help me with the New York postcode. New York, I think something was there. I, I don't know what does Ellie or. No, that's OK. Let's create it. Hmm. Oh, Some code. random, yeah, random code will do. One zero 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 one. Yeah. I think one zero zero seven. Yes. Yeah. 
so we have to like I have created two now. You can now try to search for it. Uh, I think uh, no, no, I have to save and close. Yeah, mm -hmm. save and close. So um, the legal addresses, right? Manage legal addresses is like foundation data. Like we have uh, created the legal addresses separately, and uh, then we are uh, using it in the legal entity. Okay. Yes, it's showing no. Uh, just click a drop down and then search. No. Oh, here also uh, search button. Click on search button. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, line one. Yeah. Chase. Address line one. Just have it as chase. C H A C. No, no. Chase. Chase. I have uh, added. Yes. Chase. Yeah. Search. Okay. Now select one for uh, CA. So I've created both both these. Yeah. And uh, tin number. Let's have it as uh, random number, like uh, maybe TIN zero zero one or something. So all these details will be provided by client. So we don't have to worry mm -hmm. about. Yeah, yeah. Place of registry. Uh, yeah. Uh, California, yeah, right? Like California, like Central. Yeah. Central. Yeah. And uh, here, a and legal same. reporting. Same. L R U. L R U zero zero one. Like all these details will be provided as previously mentioned. Like we don't have to worry about it. So oh, for okay. this purpose, we can say L R U zero zero one. So L R U stands for Legal Reporting Legal, Unit. Yeah. I'm just making up making up the number. That's all. So uh, save. Just click on save. Let's see what happens. Because if we are getting an opportunity to create a new uh, new uh, yeah, legal entity we can create here itself. Otherwise, we can go out and create it like. Saved. Oh, <laughs> OK, so siding it right. Now save and close. Save and close, yes, please. Yeah, once again, uh, now create legal entity again. Select and uh, main ma manage legal entities there, right? So go yeah. to task. Yeah, perfect. Create. We are going to create another legal entity. I hope okay. you remember the name, right? Legal entity name, the first one. It's yeah. Chase L E. Chase right? L E C A. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So now uh, add new. Now yes. we're going to put the legal employer, right? Yes. Uh, Chase L E L Y. Yes. L E. New York, yeah, had the same CMS. value. Case and E, and Y. E, and Y. Oh, legal address, that must be there. Yeah, so, just look for Chase. Uh, yeah. um, this time, please, yeah, this time you can cancel this. We can try something new, yeah, cancel this. Uh, now directly type chase. Let's see if it is bringing up if the system is able to bring it up. Why no. Still not able to get it up. Uh, yeah, maybe it's it's just a matter of time. Sometimes. Hmm. Okay. Chase. the New York. Yeah. Yeah, 13 also something yes. random number. Yes. 
this is going to be LRU. Sorry. No worries. We can have any number, so that's fine. L And this is going to be the same CA. Uh, NY. New York, right? This so, is New York, right? So, NY. If you want to take some rest or uh, if you want to go have some uh, like water or tea or something. I know I'm good. I got my water here. And yeah. Okay. Okay. So, payroll statutory unit. Uh, yeah. That was play payroll. This is legal. Yes. So uh, payroll statutory unit, right? Uh, drop down. Oh. Yeah, click on the drop down. Uh, it's it's not active. Um, yeah. Uh, like uncheck legal employer. I think if you select this, it's going to be. No, 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 no. Uh, ideally, it should uh, provide us directly. Like click on legal employer now. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So before providing the name and uh, uh, entity identifier, because those are mandatory, right? So before providing that, when we try to provide, uh, I mean, when we checked legal employer, looks like the program was uh, uh, like trying to show or highlight the mandatory field and uh, miss to uh, like miss to highlight or uh, enable this particular field so it is a it is a bug uh, that you have found so yeah. it's a bug it should not happen uh, like uh, we should we can actually report it like uh, we can report it to the oracle uh, provider itself like boss we, we need to you need to change your code so that mm -hmm. uh, it, it accepts it yeah yeah please go ahead search for chase chase l e c a right so just look for chase Yes, CA. Yes. CA or NY? No, no, CA. CA is going to be our payroll statutory unit. So first we created the payroll statutory unit, right? Before oh, okay. creating New York. We yeah. have to just put it here. Yes, yes. So what we are doing is we are linking okay, two link. legal entities. Uh, we are saying that, boss, this is the legal entity which where I'm going to hire the employee and uh, how um, the the next question is going to be uh -huh. how we, how are you going to execute the statutory i mean payroll uh, for the employees that you hire in new york so for that question we are answering saying that boss i'm going to execute them in ca okay okay yeah, yeah. got it right yeah 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 mm. now save and close save and close On that side, we just had the statue, uh, payroll entity marked, so we did not have to click this one because this is the. Yes. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Yeah. So we have created two legal entities. So one yes. is for uh, um, payroll statutory unit, and if you notice, we created the payroll statutory unit first because uh, for legal employer. Uh, if it is if the legal employer is not going to be the payroll statutory unit, then mm -hmm. the payroll statutory unit is the mandatory field that needs to be selected. For that purpose, we created the payroll statutory unit first. Yeah. Right? The legal yeah. entity, which is going to be the payroll uh, statutory unit, we have created it first, and then we assigned it to uh, assigned it to legal employer. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. OK, and then the next uh, uh, topic is uh, registration unit, which is I believe uh, which is just below it. Manage legal entity registration unit registration. Okay. Yeah, Go to uh, task. Mm, first we have to select scope. Oh, so there are two entities, right? So this time we have to do uh, do it twice. Yeah. See That's all right. Uh, manage legal entity registration. Legal entity. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. Uh, search. Uh, I mean, um, let's let's do it. Create new. Let's see what what are we getting. Yeah. Apply and go to. Uh, 
uh, now um, I, I believe I... we have to search. We have to search, search. Okay, uh, search. Top, we have search, right? Search for uh, Chase. Oh, yeah. we have this too. Yes, yeah. so automatically this will be created. And uh, if you see here, we have the summary of both the, the uh, both of these uh, legal entities. See, it is active, uh, whether it is a payroll unit or uh, a legal employer. Yeah. And if it is a legal employer, what is the payroll unit? Yeah, parent payroll yeah. standard unit. So all those details are provided here. So now click on one of these. Let's go with the first one, yeah. Yes, so we have the uh, yeah, we have everything right like legal entity, legal address and everything. Uh, we don't have to do anything at all. Like once you have opened it, like this will be created automatically at the back end for us. So mm -hmm. once we have opened it, we have to just simply say save and close. OK. So site number is one, two, eight, four, three, five, five. So that's the number that we have received. And uh, again, go to uh, enterprise registration. Yeah. Legal entity. Yeah. Create new or search and add. Anything is fine. Yeah. Apply. Go, go to task. Yeah. Search for. Chase. New York. Next one. Yeah, New York and then uh, save and will employer. Yeah. Yes. This is the number which is created by them. Yes. Uh, not sure about the previous number. We can uh, we can check that uh, whether the numbers are same or uh, what it is. Yeah. So we can actually, yeah, save, save and close. Should I note out down the number or? No, you can, you can make a note of it. So we, we, anyway, we are not going to use it anywhere, okay. but uh, for test check for checking purpose, we can have it like one, two, eight, four, three, five, seven. I will note it here. One, two, eight, four, three, five, seven. Yeah, now search no registration itself. Go and search for. I'm mean, not there. Uh, open. Yeah, go to task. Yeah. And select search search legal entity. Yeah, apply and go to task. Let's have yeah, chase. Yeah, save and close. So this will open the page, I, I believe. The page, see? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, this is the. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's a pin uh, number, yeah, registration number, and all those things. Yes. So this is a. Um, Managed registrations, right? We have created registration unit, managed registration unit. Uh, mm -hmm. Click done. Yeah. Go to task or uh, yeah, go to task. Not there. Go to task. A workflow. Okay, go to task here yeah. again. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I believe the scope is still LA. I mean CA, right? We can we have to change the scope. So click done, uh, change the scope, and then we can come here. Selected scope is there, right? It's CA. So instead of CA, yeah, yeah. Instead of CA, let's take it as NY. New York. Uh, how to click here? Yes. Oh, or add. Uh, uh, so select and add. Yeah. Select and add. Yeah, apply and go to task. 
it's now you will have an opportunity to change it. So search. Chase. Uh, it is taking some time. Yeah, Chase. Yeah, uh, we we have done it for C A right now. Let's do it for New York. Yeah. Select, I mean, save and close. Yeah. Now you land in this page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so OK. Done. Yeah. So um, this registration number will be automatically created. We just need to open it, review it and then close it. Yeah, okay. the registration mm -hmm. unit and then we have the report reporting unit. So um, if you see down, there is something called define legal reporting units for human capital. Please expand it. So it mm -hmm. has. Yeah, expand it. Go down. So. Scroll down a bit. Yeah, manage legal reporting unit. Yeah. So go to task before you go to task, please select the uh, scope. Yes, reporting unit. Uh, manage reporting unit. Yeah, at the bottom, NY, right? At the bottom, we have to select whether we are going to create one or add. So we can, we are going to create one, right? Uh, let's let's do this one. First of all, let's sell. Uh, let's select select and add. Yeah, apply. Because over there we will be having uh, the option to add as well, right? So uh, we can use that. In CA uh, NY New York. Yeah. Click on that. Uh, no, no. Click. Yeah. Select. Yeah. Select that. Yes. Now save and close. Yes. Okay. Now it's a different number. Um. One, two, four, three, five, seven. Here it is five, eight. So it is giving it in the sequence order. Maybe, yeah. yeah. CA yeah. was five, seven, and the next number is five, five, eight. Yeah. So over here, legal reporting unit address, if you see, uh, the address is already there. So we are using the same address only, and it is for reporting purpose. What we are saying is this is for reporting address boss. This is what we are going to use. So we this is also will be uh, like uh, created automatically. Like we just need to open it, review it, and then save it, and uh, just see what will happen if we uh, try to for like try to or else yeah. Let's see what are the actions available. So legal reporting unit addresses are there, right? Um, yeah, actions yeah. on the left side. On the mm -hmm. left side, yeah. Drop down. So we have edit. Primary. Yes. Okay. It's all. Yeah. I'm not sure if it will allow us. Okay, it is. It is allowing us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so are we changing? No, 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 we are not changing it. I'm just showing you. These are the options available. Uh, and we can. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. As I previously mentioned, uh, this may not like. This may not make any sense for now because we we are unsure of what will be the requirement, right? So when we get the actual requirement, we will be able to understand why we are doing this and what are the options available and so on. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we can cancel this. Yeah, uh, just uh, click done or save and close, right? I think we have an option save and close. Yeah, save and close in the similar manner. Please do it for uh, um, like select the scope as CA and do it for CA as well. Yeah. Select scope for CA. CA. No, no. Uh, uh, manage legal reporting unit over there. Selected scope is there. No, we have to change the scope, right? Yeah, yes. that's NY. Yes. Yeah, well, for CA we did not do right. We did it for NY. Only right. We did it only for one 
legal entity. So change the legal entity at the top. Legal entity should be C A N Y C A yes C A. And similar manner here we have to have the uh, select and add yes. Apply and go to task. Select C A yes. And close. Yeah. Uh, save and close. Save and close. Yes. Now click on go to task. We have something called go to task, right? Here. Uh, yes, yes. yes. Go to task. Just wanted to see if we yeah, if we are landing in directly here. Yeah, so we are good. We are good to go. So save and close. Now let's see tax reporting unit. So if there is something called tax reporting unit. Um, so you can um uh, like you can search for it like search for tax reporting unit yeah we're not getting it right uh simply type it as tax Manage legal tax profile, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, last one. Yeah. It's here. Manage legal tax. Yeah. Go to, yeah. to task. Yes, please go to task. And here uh, you have to add one. Okay, tax. Uh, yes, let's see if it is available. Yeah, tax profile. So let's see if it is available. Starts with CA, like uh, just have it as CA. I mean, Chase, Chase. Just say Chase, legal entity. It's a search, okay. right? So we can give Chase, C H A S E. C H A. Yeah, search. Okay, here it is. Yeah. Select one, any one of it. Tax profile. Uh, yeah. Yes, click on legal entity. No search uh, uh, transaction profile is available, right? Yeah, click on one of them. <coughs> Let's see what happens. Manage legal entity tax profiles. Use gross amount for pay. Sorry. No, I went to classification. I supposed to go to classification or no? Um, over here we have to. We can actually edit it or like this is where we will be adding all the configuration. So maybe we can go one by one. Um, classifications. Um, C T R U. Um, uh, click on classi uh, classifications. Uh, what is this? Trying to access temporarily unable. Okay. Uh -oh. um, please log in again. And use a new 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 uh, this one. Log in again. Yes, please. I can get one more. Yeah. <coughs> no, just close this. Oh, Fusion service itself is not available. Huh? Yeah. <coughs> okay, uh, what is this? Okay, let me see if I'm able to do something. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. I believe they might have uh, uh, yeah, un unplanned outage, it seems. Yeah. Maybe so many people are working on it or uh, they are trying to flush everything. Okay. 
okay no worries uh, if we are not able to access it then we will have to create everything from the scratch um, okay mm. in that case we can uh, practice like uh, practice in the next session so that's what uh, i like i told you right like uh, we are unsure when uh, till when we will be having the access and so on sometimes mm -hmm. they will uh, remove it um so yeah we have to prepare ourselves whenever we have time we have to prepare so fusion enterprise structure and uh, you have the you have the location right uh, documents right this is the document yeah location. this one yeah mm. the fusion enterprise structure on usc yeah yeah and uh, i believe i have also shared few other uh, links with you right uh, this is the one and what else so global resource implementation global resource no i have sent it through uh, skype actually skype uh, okay yes. chat itself yeah in the chat yeah scroll up a bit scroll up yeah yeah implementation yeah, global yeah, this yes one. yes Yeah. Yeah. So over here, if you see, we will have all the uh, details. Like uh, mm -hmm. uh, starting from um, maybe you can click on um, cloud application like um, on your right. Uh, I mean, left side top. Yeah. Click yeah. on cloud applications. Yeah. So over here, yes, we have ERP enterprise resource planning uh, documents and go down. supply chain ma i mean yeah manufacturing scm and then we have our uh, human resource hcm uh, topics sales service marketing all these topics are available here so you can you can come here any time like this this is free for everyone <coughs> mm -hmm. yeah so um so Like only what? this one is needed or everything is needed for me no this one is needed like uh, human capital management is something that we are learning right so oh, this is fine yeah. this is enough yeah don't worry don't worry we don't have to uh, go through everything however you what we will have to go to erp and yeah. then this one right uh, not through erp like uh, in erp like uh, everything has a link right to create a to create a uh, uh, what is that company uh, we will definitely have to touch like to assign like uh, yeah i'm telling in the wrong way uh, like to have an employee onboarded to a, a company we definitely need a company so yeah. company creation may be in some other function yeah right so uh, so the, for that purpose we can go into enterprise resource planning and uh, we definitely need to create uh, uh, like salary details for uh, the employee which will be handled by the finance team right so a few few of the uh, topics will be handled by finance team so we will go into finance as well but those will be those will also be available in hcm only like uh, if we go into hcm they will they they know the link right the uh, oracle provider itself knows the link how it works and so on so maybe we can uh, go to uh, human resources and see whatever is available and talent management hcm analysis uh, analytics and so on so um, yeah uh, please click on human resource <coughs> yes now if you see it says 23b oracle human resource 23b mm -hmm. right so the uh, the meaning of 23b is it's 2023 year 2023 and uh, oracle releases um, or updates their system like uh, every quarter mm -hmm. so b def defines quarter 2 second quarter okay. so in next quarter we will have c oh. and then d Yeah. Okay. So we will have 2023. This first quarter, uh, um, like um, yeah, uh, notes are here, and so on. Yeah. So we can review whatever is required. 
like if we want 23 we can review 23 or uh, 21 we can review 21 like previous years 22 and so on yeah mm -hmm. and then it gets yeah. revised like it's the same thing must be just getting added so, some new rules or something right? yes 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 functionality or features will be added right say for example uh like iphone we have the camera or three cameras yeah. aligned yeah. <laughs> something like that yeah and yeah if you go so into that you know, go with 23 only start with 23 only Sorry, I didn't like if, if if I have to go read it, so it's better that I read 23 B only. Yes, 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 yes. But uh, we can also analyze like what has been changed from previous version to this year, uh, this version. Oh, so okay. uh, maybe all those things we can get it from online, like uh, we can directly Google it. We can mm -hmm. ask Google what is the change, what has happened and so on. Um, oh. Yeah, um, go into one of the topics like if possible. Which one? Uh, um, go down. Implement. No, oh, no, no, go down. OK. Go down a bit. Let's see. No, it's not available here. No, start a subscription. Review community documents. OK, uh, on the re left uh, left side, yeah, on the left side, uh, go to all. No, no, uh, scroll up a bit. Scroll up. Scroll up. Yeah, all books. Click on all books. So uh, you can see Oracle Human Resource 23B. Inside that we have checked all books. So over here, uh, um, maybe view is there right it says all so click on the drop down select the one which is required implementation is something that we are doing right yeah. so so we will get implementation level uh, documents and if you select something else like uh, you can scroll down a bit and see what are the topics are available under implementation it's uh, absence management yeah. if it's compensation yeah global yeah Payroll for Good. India, payroll for Canada, Kuwait. Yeah. All, all those details are available here. Go up. Go up. Uh, implementing implementing global. Um, so we need to know everything like the different payroll. Not like that. It is based it on is, your yeah, requirement. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a software thing, right? You should be yeah. knowing just yeah. OK. Yes, yes. In the sense, in the sense um, a, a, all the like every country will have their yeah. own uh, yeah. rules, right? Yeah, tax wise. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, we just exactly. need to know. Yeah, what the process. Exactly. Is. So maybe we can look into absence management. Click on PDF or maybe uh, HTML. HTML. Click on HTML. Let's see. PDF is good. PDF you can download and uh, have it in your mobile. Maybe you can review it whenever you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm, now click on how how you set up absence management. Yeah. So it will give you the sequence and how how it works and so on. Oh, okay. So we will we will be looking into it like uh, we will be doing all these things like we will add new values to lookups value sets we will create flex fields we will create. Mm -hmm. So uh, absence uh, absence types we will create. Oh yeah, create absent yeah. plan. Absolute yeah. plans. Yes, these are base base uh, details. So how we will create and so on. So it's been given as a given as a uh, picture. So we here if you see we also have fast formula fast formula or something which we will look uh, at. Uh, I mean which we will have it at the last uh, like phase because mm -hmm. it requires some um, like coding. Oh. Small small coding we have to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, like we we can say at scripting, yeah, small scripting we have to do. Yeah. So you can go down. Um, that's all right. So next, uh, maybe you can click on next and see what it is. But the the book may be huge. If you see the uh, if you download the PDF, it may be huge. But we can go through it slowly. Like we can uh, do it bit by bit so that we will understand. 
what it is and uh, everything else yeah it's a lot to study yeah yes yes and and we definitely need to know how to ma manage uh, absence like ma absence management is one of the important topic that is required and everywhere they are uh, asking like uh, even even the first round itself they will ask whether we know absence management or not oh. yeah so uh, for hcm it is very important that we know how to set up a global like enterprise structure uh, with divisions department and we know what is uh, like what is a business unit how it works uh, how to set up a job position grade grade ladder uh, and so on and uh, and then uh, the next is to hire an employee uh, and transfer an employee so that they, those are also important topics <coughs> once we have created like uh, once we have done with the structure like uh, established structure we will review how to create an employee like hire an employee right how to hire an, hire an employee how to assign all the values that we have created like job position uh, everything else for that employee and once that is completed we will look into absence management like uh, how to set up the absence uh, functionality uh, like foundation data and then we will review how to uh, assign it against an employee yeah mm -hmm. so these so these are will, yeah they will ask you or like oh, you have to say it by theory or just have to show it show it to them uh, we we will learn it through uh, like uh, hands on right so uh, in theory also we have to know like uh, we have to know what we are doing to do how we are going to do that's why i'm trying to get the picture in uh, in our head like uh, this this is how it starts mm -hmm. so um, if i say enterprise structure you will know uh, immediately what you will get is yeah the first thing is company mm -hmm. and second is the location location in the sense division location when i say location it is going to be the country okay yeah. why it has been separated as country because they want to maintain all the uh, all the financial details separately for each company so they mm -hmm. so that they can show the profit and loss for uh, india separately and us separately kuwait separately like uae separately so for that purpose we are having different divisions uh, however divisions are not important in the sense they are not mandatory if a company is there uh, only in uh, us uh in, and they have only one store then they don't have to have a division without a division also they can create a legal entity right mm -hmm. so next is the legal entity as soon as i create a job i mean sorry not a job uh create a company i want to create a company then i will go to uh, uh, to the government and uh, register it so when i'm registering it i will be able to register it only in legal entity uh, address like yeah so we have to create a legal entity like uh, boss this is where i am going to uh, like hire employees and in this company i am going to run the payroll so okay. if it is going to be only one then we will say both hiring and payroll will happen in this company only i don't have any other company yeah yeah so it's a straightforward mm -hmm. uh, straightforward thing that we are uh, doing and then the business units right so um so what are the things that we have in business unit what 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 exactly uh, you are getting in your head like business unit oh. yeah you have everything written in your book huh? no i'm just looking at it what did i write yeah yeah right it it could only it is very good to have uh, uh, notes because um, uh, even though we have the recordings it will be very hard for us to uh, yeah difficult for us to go through the uh, recordings because we will not be able to skim for the right uh, um, like topic mm. you can you can have it in points like uh, simple points yeah. yeah so business unit uh, legal entity yeah say we have few legal entities and business units uh, it's branches right yeah, division yes. division no, is the uh, division means division is the country country wise split oh okay enterprise and after enterprise we are having I, i'm having business in us uk and india so it is the division oh, okay right 
and uh, then I will have the exact same number of legal entities. So in India, I will have one legal entity or maybe two legal entities, one in Hyderabad, another one in Pune. Yeah. Right? And uh, in US, I will have, uh, I can have multiple legal units, one in California, one in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in similar manner, I can have one in Abu Dhabi as well. Yeah. Yeah. And these are the legal entities. And uh, after creating or after uh, like registering my legal entities, then I can have branches. In in India, in Pune alone, I can have five shops in five mm -hmm. different areas. So I would say those as business units. All these mm -hmm. are business units. Yeah. And uh, um, what are the other things that we learned? Um, we, one more. Let, yeah. let me see. Let me say enterprise. You said enterprise. Um, yeah. Enterprise is the company. Yes. And company. Uh, then comes the. Um, branches or the business division. units. Division. 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 Division, division means like they do with yeah, countries dividing countries. into, into exactly. countries. Exactly. And, and then the divisions are going to have one legal. And. Uh, or the payroll ledger, actually ledger. Ledger okay. and uh, uh, legislative data group and legal entities. Yes, you're right. Legal entities. Yeah. Legal Divisions entities. are going to have one legislate uh, le ledger uh, legal entities and payroll. One can uh, be the, no, it's complicated. Uh, divisions or uh, divisions can have one legal uh, or two legal company at different places. And again, the legal yes. things, the legal, the legal divided uh, in like Further, it goes to business units, which are the branches. Uh, business, yes, you're right. You're right. So okay. under each legal uh, entity, we can have multiple business units. Yes. Business units. OK. Yes. And also we have to uh, remember the legislative data group and ledger. These are maintained by finance team, but we need to know it like uh, boss. Uh, this is where these things are being handled. So in ledger, we will have the currency that we are going to use the calendar uh, chart of accounts and complaints mm -hmm. method. So uh, just to refresh, uh, like uh, I hope you remember, like uh, we created the ledger and where we have created the chart of accounts as US chart of accounts or something. Yeah, calendar also we have selected as calendar US calendar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and currency dollars. Yeah, so, so uh, all these things uh, if we have to read it theory wise. So where do we start? Uh, um, this one? Or, no, this no, is no. The this, this is for absence. Absence. Yes, yes. Click on. Yeah, go one step back. No, oh, back on the top. On the top. To uh, be right human resource to be so click on to be human resource to be. Cloud no, application sorry. human resources to be. Yeah, go down. Human resources. Yeah, we have already selected to be all books. Now click on all books. Yeah, look for uh, maybe implementation, right? Uh, just scroll down. No, scroll down a bit. Let's see what other things we have. Scroll down. Oracle getting started with Oracle. Uh, Oracle cloud application get started. Yeah, administration. All, all these are for starting. Uh, I mean, yeah, to start uh, uh, start to know about cloud. Um, what is cloud? What is Oracle and all those things and go down. These are for users. So how to create a user uh, using global. OK, go down implementation. implementation. Absence. Uh, you are going the enterprise structure. It just went down the top. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This understanding understanding enterprise. Enterprise structure. Yes. Click on uh, HTML. You can click on. I mean, you can uh, later on. You can click on uh, uh, PDF and download it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah mm, then uh, next click next so we have the next button right yeah at the bottom yeah yeah that's fine next okay so this yeah. is where it starts okay. legal manageable functional so uh, i mentioned right so we have legal managerial and functional so we i provided a drawing right where we have uh, mm -hmm. functional is like uh, finance sales all those things yeah. are functional yeah so those uh, yeah those things will come under department what are the department that we have so division or um legal uh, values like uh, divisions and yeah this one you... yes 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 so the business access legal access is where we have like legal entities where are what are the legal entities that we have yeah so these are something that uh, that is used to understand the oracle structure so that we can uh, like implement it configure it right so as i mentioned before like um, uh, in my company it is it is uh, in a different uh, structure the schema is completely different mm -hmm. okay the organization schema itself is completely different i cannot have to uh, i mean we don't have something called division in the sense i have we have division however it is not uh, equivalent to the division that we have in oracle so in my uh, company the division is like team sub team right we have team sub team department division uh, so something like that but here when we say division it is completely different like uh, we have it uh, we have, it, it is to say that uh, we have our business in two different locations mm -hmm. yeah so this is uh, over here we have all the documents which can which you can review right mm -hmm. you can review what it is and so on if we click on uh, define enterprise on the left side yeah enterprises yeah define enterprise so we will have the definition then we yeah, view yeah legal yes. and controlling so uh, we have number 4 legal entities see if you go to number 4 legal entities yeah overview yeah okay. so you will have all the details here mm -hmm. you have divisions business unit business function mm -hmm. so um, as you like as as we are experiencing like uh, when we whenever we are trying to like uh, access the system it is mm -hmm. taking a lot of time right it is yeah. taking a lot of time uh, and we are not able to complete what we are planning to complete mm -hmm. so that's yeah. all right yeah it happens sometimes it happens so that's all I right just let them know that yeah they should not disconnect the yeah the this access. is something which we don't have like uh, have in our hands because no no this one no like um, um like if we don't finish it mm -hmm. uh, they are they should not be uh, disconnecting our access like they definitely, should definitely definitely yeah 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 uh, like uh, this we should understand this happened today with our um field glass thing you know that right field glass is a app for oh yeah so we... they had a deployment yesterday or something so it was very slow and it was like it it also went oh. like it was it had an outrage okay 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 because over here they will have uh, maintenance us because yeah. so, so many people are here they are uh, uh, using the system but um, i believe the the setup that they give uh, gave us like the instance i will stop recording so